Hi, my name is Michael Baldwin. I'm the new Head of English at North Stephen School. I'm here today to tell you about some of the changes that have been imposed upon the English language course. Um, some of you may have had children in the school before, uh, some of you may not, but it's really important that whoever you are, you understand some of the changes. Firstly, we can only do the exam, the English language exam, once this year, and we'll be doing it in June of the year 11. This may be familiar to some of you, because you may have done summer exams yourself, but over previous years, students have been able to do earlier um, exams. That's changed now, so we've just got one chance at the exam in June of year 11. This means it's going to be very, very busy for students at that time. A very specific English change has been the loss of speaking and listening as part of the course. Over the last decade, this has been worth 20% of the GCSE. It's now gone. This was one of the most lucrative parts of the course for students to gain marks, and obviously its removal is going to make it harder. This is made even more difficult by the fact that this 20% has been given to the examinations, the hardest part of the course. In previous years, these have been worth 40%. The exams are now worth 60%. So those three changes, the summer exam, the removal of speaking and listening, and the redistribution of marks to the exams have made this course harder for the current students. We as the English department will do all we can to make sure that your students are successful, but all of us, teachers, parents and students, really need to understand that there have been changes and we need to focus on those. If you've got any questions at all about these changes, please contact me at the school. Thank you very much. Hi, Mrs Lloyd, Head of Maths. The most important message we need to convey is that for all classes in Year 11, the Maths GCSE is going to be at the end of the year, in the summer exam season. In previous years, you may be aware of students that have sat in November, January, March, there have been all sorts of opportunities, and we had intended we would do a bit of that this year, but it has changed now, so all Year 11s are doing their exam at the end of Year 11 in the summer. There'll be the trials in January for all Year 11 in all their subjects, but in addition to that in the Maths Department there will be extra small-scale internal exams just in class time to give a bit more exam practice and that will help with students making their best progress possible and to help staff decide what the final tier of entry is going to be, foundation or higher, they need to make that decision for some students. And in set one, Miss Empson's classes, a final decision on which students are actually going to sit the level two further maths qualification. So staff need to have information near the time for that. Because the exams are in the summer, it's really important that students are working steadily throughout the year. The thing with maths is you can't just revise it all in the week before and learn it and then do it in the exam. It doesn't work like that because it's a build-up of skills. Everything the students have ever learned since primary school has got to be known and displayed in this final assessment. So really steadily working throughout the year is vital. You can get a sheet like this from your teachers at your parents' evening appointment and that gives really useful ideas on revision tips and strategies and how to make the best of the time. Steady, regular work, consolidating and practicing things that you've met in the past is, is vital and will make a difference in the end. So exams at the end of the summer, there'll be plenty of practice and lots of advice for your revision strategies. All right. There's been some recent changes into the way that Key Stage 4 science has been assessed and graded. The move to linear will affect mostly the triple students who for the first time will be taking all other examinations at the end of year 11. This will therefore effectively double their workload in this period from a science perspective. In preparation for that, we are trying our best to prepare students as they go through each of the units with a series of interim and final assessments in every unit that they, took, they are delivered. And they will also have the opportunity to get feedback on those against OCR grading criteria. Couple this with the mock exam in January should they give them an honest and uh, full reflection of their progress through this GCSE course. The biggest change that will affect the rest of the students taking GCSE science occurred when the government announced on the 29th of September that only the first attempt at a student's exam will count towards the school's performance data. Having just taken their first examinations at the end of year 10, this was initially a bit of concern. 
However, when reading through the information, it became apparent that as long as the students took their exams before the 29th of September, any subsequent retakes would still qualify. This means that the current year, 10, current year 11 sorry, students who took their exams last year will still have the opportunity to resit the paper this year, should they deem to do so, in order to improve their performance. Sadly, science was subject to a hit this year with very much of this type of English had last year in terms of the way that the exams were graded. Specifically, the controlled assessment was really graded down across the country. This has had a negative impact on science, not just in NK, but across the country in all schools taking this examination. We are going to offer the students the opportunity to resit and retake various aspects, one, two, or all components of their exam should they wish to do so. And are currently working with our colleagues in English Maths to put together a programme of activities that will allow them to revise, recap, work with staff in order to fill in any holes and do any work that's necessary to, with a view to improving that performance. Being the fact that several, several departments might want the students at any particular time, we're currently trying to coordinate this so that uh, science and maths and English are not requiring the students to be in the same place at the same time. Overall, however, the move to linear and the increasing demand of the courses will mean that students are really going to have to make sure that they meet us halfway and make sure that they are putting in the hours outside of school to prepare for the huge amount of material needed for exam success in science.